Then now to take your file uploader or picture uploader from this to this or this. Okay guys, so this is what you have by default. File uploader, the default file uploader, right? This is what you have by default, right? So let's let's see what that looks like uh, in run mode. Okay, yeah. Click on it. Um, choose the file, and then you have this progress bar here. And then when the upload is done, it disappears. And then you know, this is just what you have, right? I don't think that's um, good UX. I don't think it communicates um, enough to the users. So. Um, sometimes i don't even use this progress bar here right most times in my app builds i don't use it so um let's do it better okay so what you want to do is first remove the detach the, the style right just detach the style and then remove the default conditioner okay um after that go to your plugin section oops and make sure these two are installed here are icons and then really what we'll be using is this um, spinner icon here yeah for the first approach and then for the second approach we'll be using this progress bar by by bubble right so let's get into it back to the design tab and um now what you want to do is to bring the progress bar first um sorry the spinner icon first on the page and i usually give it a weight and height of 20 by 20 20 by 20 pixels and i just give it a color i'm satisfied with so i just do that here right and then um what you want to do is select these two um hold shift select both elements and then group it in an align to parent container like that okay so you have both elements in an align to parent container and then just um fit with the content so right now the 65 i just um reduces to zero zero it out and uh, just bring everything to the center right also you want to bring this to the center of the group okay and what you want to do to the container this group is to give it same color same border color right your file uploader or your picture uploader has right so let's check that um right now we have a border color you know what let's just choose a border color um like b8 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 right so take note that's our border color and then do the same thing to the group okay also know that it has um roundness of five pixels right so just do the same thing to the to the containing group so uh, let's just detach the styles to border style solid and then that same color right and then roundness give it five right you'll see why we are doing this in a bit okay so what you want to do next is to make sure this is behind the group um, behind the file uploader rather so you send it to the back send it to the back so it's behind the file uploader and make sure the file uploader also has a background color so right now is none so add a background color right so the impression we want to create is when this file uploader is loading okay it should show a spinner icon okay giving the user the impression that okay something is actually happening the file is is um, uploading and I'm not just waiting for nothing okay so 
how do we achieve that you just go to the conditional tab and say when this file uploader is loading okay um this element is visible to know right so that way when this file uploader is loading it is invisible okay giving way to the spinner icon behind it or beneath it to show right so let's see that on preview mode um so we upload the file and then yeah this is what you want to have it's better than the progress bar above yeah so that's the first approach now if you um want something that communicates even better say you know that your users will be uploading large files and you actually want them to see the percentage um, this is how you do it so let's go back i won't be needing the spinner icon for this anymore so just get get rid of it right so um this is where we'll be making use of the progress bar we installed the progress bar plugin we installed earlier so just take the progress bar drag it on the page first so that we can do some some formatting before um putting it inside here so um we'll come back to this but for the progress bar just give it a color you are satisfied with and then for the background right okay for the text i want to give it um, 12 i think the 14 is just too big right for the font color is okay white is okay now for the background color you want to give it the same color um with the progress bar color but you reduce the opacity to something like 20. so it, it, when in preview it gives this filling effect like okay this is there's still something left to be filled right and then i'll just exaggerate the roundness 100 i want it to be completely round uh i don't need a border color really i don't really need a border color right let's see the overall size 161 let's just make it a round figure and just make it 160 it really depends on you and then the height um let's see 20 i think 20 is fine for me and then what you want to do in this percentage value is um to pass in the file uploaders upload percentage right that's not all and then um you said ceiling right why am i adding the ceiling operator so that you don't get weird percentage um, numbers like 18.5565 blah 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 something like that you want to have um whole number all true right that looks better okay so since we are done with the formatting just bring it to the center of this group right so you want to do the same thing you did to the spinner icon you want to send it to the back send it to back so really it's same thing when the file uploader is loading right it's not visible so we can see the progress bar in it and then when it's done we see the file uploader right so let's see that um okay cool we have our file uploader so let's try uploading something and see if what we have here works right so this is what you want to have right this is exactly what you want to have now a better way to do this if you know you would be having this file uploader in several instances of your app you want to build modular right you don't want to design this in several places in your app okay so you want what you want to do is to turn it into a reusable element right turn everything into a component okay uh, if you want me to do that video just let me know in the comment section and i will teach you how to do that too that's how i do it personally um don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a like button share this if you found value in it and then um 
more videos are coming your way guys more ui ux videos are coming your way right thank you